Yes, Mr. President, uh, when we round up the evildoers... They're evil. The they evil. are evil. What punishment do you believe will fit their crime? Well, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it's nice that you should ask something like that because my staff has been come, trying to come up with the right punishment. And so I've come to you today. I want to hear what you think. I've come here with three options. Please show me by applause which option you like the best. Number one, we bring the evildoers over here to be dinner guests of Hannibal Lecter. You like that one? Okay. Option two, we give them all summer jobs as speed bumps on the New Jersey Turnpike. You like that one? Option three, we lower the evildoers into the bleachers of Yankee Stadium, put Red Sox jerseys on them when it's bat day, and just let nature take its course, take its course, wash our hands. Anyway, uh, of course, the reason I'm here is uh, David Chedlars uh, was supposed to be here, but he's uh, exhibiting his trademark punctuality in getting to meetings. <laughs> yeah. By applause, how many people think that Terry Jones is an American? <laughs> how many people think Terry Gilliam is an American? And how many people have absolutely no clue? We'll take away two of the answers and what's left is white and green. Somebody thought it was red, okay. <laughs> and which one of the 12 apostles was an American? That's the next one. <laughs> They're going with D. Yeah, that's a good one. You're just one a million points. Good afternoon. I want to start out by thanking Bob for his years of service as managing partner in New York City. I think we all him a round of applause. And your remote PC users will feel kind of like they're lost on the moon. Gotta get out of here. Ah, taxi, taxi. But I'm here to tell you all that I feel your pain. <laughs> I feel your pain, I really do. <laughs> I'm Mike Wallace. I'm Morley Safer. I'm Harry Reasoner. Hello, I'm Andy Rooney. Did you ever wonder how you figure out your basic credits? No, I'm sorry. Anyone. If you need a deadline to start, here's a good one. May 7th. That's National Pay Yourself Day. The idea is you pay yourself first by investing for your future. You only become vested in your account after five years of service, and you won't pay a lot for a muffler. And KNFA listeners, it sounds like the NFA has its feet on the ground while it's reaching for the stars. Scotty, report. Sir, we replaced the road storage with EMC Enterprise storage without losing a bite. The Daytorians are already seeing results. Their data warehouses are being updated at warp speed. Scotty, can you get me warp eight? Aye, sir. And maybe just a wee bit more. Good. Mr. Sulu. EMC Enterprise Storage Connectivity Complete. Information is free to navigate across all platforms. Good. Mr. Chekhov. Shields at full strength, sir. Even if they experienced a power outage, the information is very protected. Excellent. Bolts. Jim, EMC Enterprise Storage gave their information new life. Plastic Jim, I'm beginning to think I can cure her any day. Mr. Spunk. As I surmised, when the Datorians centralized their information on EMC Enterprise storage, it was logical that they gained a decisive competitive edge. If I were human, I believe I would say they're kicking butt. I find their results fascinating. Excellent work, Mr. Spunk. Captain, yes, thank Bob. you again. Thanks to EMC Enterprise storage, I am now the Chief Information Officer of the Daytorians. Bob out. Bob got a promotion. Captain, 
Message coming in from Federation Command. Yes, Lieutenant. Congratulations on the Daytorians. Commendations to all. Command out. So you see, cadets, EMC Enterprise Storage Solutions aren't just my world. They're your world.